Unmanned aerial vehicles or drones have a variety of uses. Hobbyists use them for entertainment, while professionals in a variety of fields, including photography, journalism, real estate, art, and sports, use them to reach remote and challenging locations. Although drones frequently record beautiful landscapes, we'll look at 10 of the most upsetting ones. Man trapped on the cliffside. A young man on a hike with his companions would have what was intended to be a joyful experience turn into a horrific nightmare when they became stuck and stranded on a steep vertical face of an isolated canyon. With two other people, Babu had started to ascend a hill when he slid and was caught in the cleft of the slope. Then his pals would try everything, from wooden sticks to logs to ropes, before deciding to descend the hill and ask the townspeople and local authorities for assistance. He can be seen sitting on what seems to be a dangerous angle on the cliff in images captured by a drone. He would be the subject of several rescue attempts, including one in which a helicopter was used to lower him, but none of them would be successful. Babu was stranded in the extreme heat of the day and the windy, chilly weather of the night, with no food or drink and a dread of the dangerous creatures that could be around. At the same time, every attempt to save him, including those made by the Coast Guard, the Fighting Force, the NDRF, and even the police failed, until the chief minister arrived and took over. The young man was in need of rescue, so the army was called in. Army officials waited through hours of mud to get to him. They gave him water before escorting him to the Indian army on a hilltop. Drone footage would show the moment that Babu emerged safely with the aid of a rope as rescue teams cheered him on. Gray Whale We have something unsettling, but not particularly harmful or offensive. It shows a whale circling and swimming beneath a few swimmers in Laguna Beach. A whale, you might be wondering? Yes, but that's a gray whale, a large animal that often avoids eating mammals in favor of benthic crabs and other tiny food items, unlike killer whales. Gray whales are covered in parasites and other creatures that are not visible below, giving them the look of a crusty ocean rock. To sort through their prey, gray whales utilize the comb-like baleen on their heads. However, these details aren't remembered when a whale is close when you're swimming. There is only a horrifying reaction. Clown in a cornfield We're not sure how to describe this, but it appears that a youngster in Huntsville, Alabama was using a drone to capture the scenery of a cornfield. Smoothly, his drone flies across the short grass field and through the neighboring trees. The drone then moves over the length of the cornfield. It notices a clown-like person standing in the center of the cornfield all of a sudden. The torso is covered in a vividly colored t-shirt, and the face appears to be enhanced with clown makeup. The clown begins to flee quickly as the drone approaches and vanishes into the woods. Perhaps out of concern for the drone's safety, the drone operator chose not to proceed. Imagine coming upon a clown amid a cornfield, the sight unsettling in and of itself. But since there were a few houses close by the cornfield, it may have been staged, making the occurrence of such paranormal activity doubtful. Driving into innocent protesters Here's a photo of a white nationalist at his most despicable. Let me just explain my background. White nationalists banded together to resist the city of Charlottesville's decision to take down the statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. These young white boys didn't want their past to be erased, as they brandished semi-automatic guns, swastikas, and anti-Muslim and anti-Semitic placards, while chanting racist chants. Naturally, the counter-protesters opposed the extremist ideologies of the racists at the gathering. One of the supremacists drove into the gathering of counter-protesters because he was unable to tolerate logic or sanity, killing one innocent person and wounding 19 others. The motorist was detained. I assume not everyone can understand what peace for everyone means. Bacon for Crocodile Crocodiles also enjoy bacon, but on a more serious point, this is a rather unsettling image. According to the drone pilot, the crocodile has been residing close to the little community of Baia in East New Britain for almost three years. It feeds on hapless pigs and dogs from the neighborhood since it is a reptile creature. This time, it appeared to catch another pet pig, as evidenced by the leash, which was roughly half the predator's length long. And I don't even have a pet. I can't imagine my cat being devoured like that. Although these saltwater crocodiles are capable of consuming larger predators, such as sharks, I would guess that would at the very least be an exciting battle to witness. Given the ease with which the crocodile is swimming while carrying the victim in its gigantic jaws, it appears that there was no conflict and only a one-sided war in this instance. Pontiac Silverdome Stadium 
In the 1970s, this stadium's construction cost was close to $56 million, and an overhead picture of it in 2015, to put it mildly, is depressing. Throughout its existence, the stadium held several events, including the Super Bowl, the Pope's visit, the NBA championship, an Elvis performance, a WWE show, and others. However, when the Detroit Lions relocated to Ford Field in 2002, things began to go south. Since then, the stadium's condition has gotten worse. It was unsuccessfully converted into a drive-in cinema, a monster truck rally stadium, or a soccer stadium by the city. The copper wire and the grass with Lions insignia were two items that the stadium owners sold. The interior is in disrepair and the roof is ripped off, as shown in this unsettling drone photo. In 2017, the stadium has undergone partial implosion and destruction. Wind Turbine Sunbathing Although differently, this one is similarly unsettling. This picture involves a dubious use of public space, in contrast to the other two pictures where privacy was invaded. It depicts a guy lying in the sun. He was 200 feet above the ground though, perched on a wind turbine, unlike most people. The drone operator assumed it was the maintenance worker until he noticed the open gate on the turbine. However, upon closer inspection, it appeared to be a typical person obtaining vitamin D on a sunny day. It's possible that the maintenance worker was simply enjoying the sun up there. Whatever the circumstances, he enjoyed heights, no matter what. Others may perspire and get physically hot just by looking at the image, but this individual appeared to relish the process. The Ruins of Chernobyl One of the deadliest nuclear mishaps in human history was undoubtedly the Chernobyl disaster. A steam explosion occurred during a safety test as a result of the reactor design's inherent instability combined with an incorrect core layout. The fire that followed produced updrafts for roughly nine days. Western Europe was radiated to unthinkable levels, with 134 individuals being hospitalized as a result of the acute radioactive burst's physiological harm. Some of them perished shortly after the exposure, as their cells started to mutate and lose function. Here's a spooky photo of one of the buildings inside. It appears to be abandoned, which it is, and even has a haunted house vibe. Due to the radiation, nobody is brave enough to go there. The Demise of the City of Homs Homs, which once had a million residents, now has a ghostly, lifeless appearance after five years of civil conflict. Those in Syria who were against the despotic Assad administration made Homs their base of operations. 2011 saw the beginning of the civil war as Assad's oppressors forcefully put down protests by disgruntled citizens. Since then, more than 6 million Syrians have been internally displaced and about 5 million have left the nation in search of safety. The image presented here is merely one view of the extensive devastation. The video does a much better job portraying it. It's close enough to the structures to allow for identification, but not too close as to be confusing. Due to the likelihood that the remaining structures would collapse, it is simply too risky to hover near them, hence the usage of drones. Killer Whale vs Shark Nature is lovely, both of us are aware of that. However, the live motion of nature as seen via a drone camera may not be as pleasant. Things start to seem a little unsettling. You've probably seen photos of sharks floating underneath surfers as well as heard news reports of sharks attacking humans. Ever questioned who consumes those sharks? Or did you even realize that something other than natural death caused their passing? Here's a photo of a killer whale acting playfully while consuming a 7 gill shark. Male whales typically measure 20 to 26 feet in length and weigh around 6 tons. It weighs exactly 12,000 kg. In case you didn't know, they have teeth too, just like the sharks. But given the size of their bodies, their jaws and biting power are unavoidably more powerful than a shark's. Isis proliferates. Without a question, this one takes the top rank on the list. After reading and writing about all those sharks and killer whales, I began to believe that nature was cruel, but I neglected to take certain so-called humans into account. Isis is a stain on mankind that ought to have been eliminated as soon as it appeared, but sadly it keeps spreading like a virus. Isis wants to establish a global caliphate for all Muslims on earth. According to the tenets of Sunni Islam, Isis has developed into a terrorist group that is accountable for numerous violations of human rights. It's unclear what gave Isis such a perverted attitude. It is notorious for executing journalists, relief workers, civilians, and the military. The execution of a guy who reportedly insulted Allah is shown in this image. The decapitated head was left in the center of the road, encircled by a puddle of blood.
That's it for today guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you next time.